Hi friends, it's Shay. Welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to start off this video with an unboxing of the pieces that I received from Perifoya. I've been into wearing basic outfits and just accessorizing with jewelry and I wanted to show you some of the pieces that I've been wearing. The first is the single heart stud earring. I used to have two piercings on each ear but one of the holes just closed so this one's perfect for me. Then I got the distinct earrings, the Persephone necklace, and the Meta bracelet. Here are what the pieces look like on. I'm wearing these pieces all together since they're super simple. I love how classy it looks and the bracelet is so nice since there isn't a visible clasp. So it's seamless. And all these pieces are either solid 14K gold or they are plated. And I think that simple jewelry like these with small details like having invisible clasps or texture really elevate the pieces. Perifoya is a sustainable luxury jewelry brand that brings transparency to the jewelry industry. They create small batches of jewelry so they don't create unnecessary waste and they stand by an all-inclusive, diverse mindset aligned with all nationalities, cultures, and ethnicities. Their designs and practices contribute to the diversity of the world, celebrating our differences and bringing us together. I think that they have a great branding and messaging and, and I really love the timelessness of their designs. So if you liked any of the pieces that I showed you or was on the website, then you can access their spring sale, which is starting February 15th and you can receive a free gift for every item that you purchase. So let's get into the rest of the video. The first app is for those who prefer to plan digitally. This app is a to-do list and Pomodoro timer in one. You have to learn the basic commands like swiping down, up, side to side to use this app, but the lack of buttons does make for a super aesthetic interface. You can swipe down to add a new item on the to-do list, swipe right to cross it off, swipe left to delete, hold to move the list around, and click on the item to start a focus timer. I really love the simplicity of the design and I don't need a separate app for the Pomodoro timer. If you're a physical planner type of person, make sure to check out my monthly plan with me videos for inspiration. The next app is called Routinery. This is also for those that like to plan digitally. If you struggle with going on your phone first thing in the morning, this app will be great for you. So instead of opening up Instagram or TikTok in the morning, you can open up this app, Routinery, to start your morning routine. It basically tracks the time you take to do your morning routine and lets you know what is happening next. I know I tend to be super tired in the morning and I like anything that automates the process of starting my routine. So you can build your routine by adding common habits that are listed in the app. Then every morning a reminder will come up for you to start your routine. Once you're done a task, you can click complete to move on to the next task. And I think that the simplicity and outline of the morning routine really helps you stay focused on the task at hand instead of scrolling through Instagram after each task you complete in your morning routine. The next app is called Notion. I know that the title says underrated and Notion is super popular, but I do want to highlight a key feature that makes it so great for students. Unlike other note-taking apps, Notion does not have a data limit, so you can truly keep everything in Notion without worrying about paying for more storage. I do love having the Notion widget on my home screen to easily access pages I need. For example, I plan all of my content for my social media platforms on Notion and having a widget to the content calendar really saves time and effort. I think it's really important to reduce barriers to things that you want to do more of and having a shortcut to the exact page you need prevents you from getting distracted with other things on your phone. It's super customizable, so you can use Notion as a habit tracker, a planner, a note-taking app, and more. So if you hate having to switch between different apps, Notion is probably the app for you. 
And the last app that I wanted to talk about is called Splitwise. I use this app with my boyfriend because we live together and share lots of expenses. Splitwise is a free tool for friends, roommates to track bills and other expenses so you can make sure that everyone gets paid back. It's available on the App Store and Play Store and there is a desktop version too. You can add an expense, date it, add a receipt, and pick how the expense should be split. And whenever you or the other person adds to the expenses, it'll calculate the balance that you owe each other. So you never really have to do any calculations on your own. And you can also send reminders to, for the other person to pay up. I'd highly recommend this if you live with others so you don't get into any problems relating to expenses. And that marks the end of the video. As always, thank you so much for watching until the very end of the video, and I hope you have a sunny day.